BBC World News, the biggest African and international news stories. Focus on Africa. Hello, I'm Peter Okwacha. Welcome to Focus on Africa. Our top stories. France says it will partially lift its travel ban on Southern Africa at the weekend, the first country to do so since the Omicron variant was first identified in South Africa. The BBC speaks to a Somali man, one of just two people who survived the migrant boat sinking in the English Channel last week, which left 27 people dead. As the Gambia prepares to choose its president this weekend, we speak to the main opposition candidate Hussein Dabo on his fourth election attempt. Also on the programme, South Africa's battle against gender-based violence will report from one of the country's most dangerous places for women and children. In the first 10 months of this year alone, more than 30,000 rape cases were reported. But many cases here go unreported. And in sports, the World Athlete of the Year awards are taking place virtually with quite a few African stars in the running. It's not quite the reversal hoped for, but today France said it would allow in flights from 10 southern African countries from Saturday, partially lifting its travel ban imposed after the discovery of the new coronavirus variant Omicron in South Africa. It's the first country to ease restrictions, but France will only permit French and EU residents to disembark. And of course, all the travel bans imposed by countries both outside and within the continent remain for now. South African President Cyril Ramaphosa has lashed out at the ban and again during a visit to Nigeria today, he spoke of the damage caused by the move. This is a global pandemic. 